I love Paramount Studios. I think they've done a lot of great things over the years. I think they're doing some good, smart things right now. But everybody in the industry and most fans know that they are struggling at the same time, right? There have been a lot of talks and whispers about possibly being a target to be acquired, acquisitions, mergers, all that kind of stuff. There have been some pitches about some third parties coming in and buying pieces of Paramount. Some want to buy the whole thing. Some want to buy the whole thing and then break it up into pieces. A lot of stuff going on. But the most interesting player in this who's going to acquire Paramount game, if anybody's going to acquire it, has been Warner Brothers. You know, some time ago, um, Warner Brothers CEO David Zaslav said, hey, we've gotten our debt situation under control and we are now moving into a phase of acquisition and they would like to add things to the company. Paramount, at least in theory and on paper, seems like a great thing to acquire. It's got a lot of great IP. It's got a number of various business interests. It's a recognizable name, and it would bolster your content offerings, some really good, some not so good, which they'd probably ask, but it would bolster your content offerings and widen your footprint in the entire digital streaming space all at the same time. Not to mention their studio facilities, okay, the iconic Paramount lot right down in Hollywood. A lot of things would come along with it. The question would be, how big of a price tag would it carry? And apparently the price tag might be a little bit too big because Reuters and uh, Yahoo Finance are reporting the following. Warner Brothers Discovery is no longer pursuing a merger with Paramount Global, halting its talks after several months of kicking the tires on merging the media companies, CNBC reported on Tuesday, citing sources familiar with the matter. Uh, so basically, it looks like that's done. You know, Jonathan and I were talking before the show started about this, and I really do believe this would have been a good acquisition for Warner Brothers to pick up Paramount, but everything that would be good for you to buy has to not be too expensive. Like, yes, I would love to buy, Ann and I were, were in a casino and they had this very, very expensive gift shop in it. And behind glass in this gift shop where you could buy Doritos right here, I could buy a bag of Doritos. And then right beside that little stand is this glass box that had a Gucci bag in it, a little, little bag like this big, like this big. I could maybe put two cans of soda in it. It was Two thousand. Never put soda cans in a Gucci bag. <laughs> it was two thousand two hundred dollars. But imagine how many Cheetos you, you could fit in a lot. That Doritos so in many that. Cheetos, yeah. right? That does does the essentially the same job that my bag at the grocery bag I get at Ralph's will do. You put some only the grocery bag at L Ralph's will carry more. Oh, and it doesn't matter if it gets wet. And that was 10 cents that I paid for it, $2,200. Like, the point and moral of the story is, no matter how good something might be, if it's not the right price, it's a bad thing to buy. I remember watching a, a home renovation show once where, where there, I think it was the Property Brothers and trying to show houses this couple. And they said, the right house at the wrong price is still the wrong house. I'm like, yes, the right studio to buy at the wrong price is still the wrong studio to buy. I think this is an unfortunate thing. I think this would have been a great opportunity for Warner Brothers to buy it. But if you're just starting to get yourself clawed out of, you know, paralyzing debt, you can't dive right back too much into debt again. So it's unfortunate, but I get it. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for 15 bucks a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash 
Campia. That's mintmobile.com slash Campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash Campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Anyway, Chris, you heard about this. I mean, Paramount is still this big, juicy piece on the board that a lot of vultures are trying to circle warner brothers is one of them Ooh. what do you think about warner brothers dropping out and what can you see happening with them here i i'm honestly surprised that they did drop out about this uh, everyone seems to kind of be slowly meandering off i'm still devastated that it didn't go to you know comcast because a mountain peacock kind of thing here mount cock <laughs> come on it writes itself it would have been mount great. cock it would have been a great streaming service it would have been oh, wonderful it would have been fabulous but you know reverse that yeah they still have Skydance Media in the mix. They're still in talks with them. They also have, oh, what is that gentleman's name? Byron. Oh, oh yeah. It's not Byron Scott, is it? It is. Let me double check here. Byron Scott, the it is. shooting guard for the Los Angeles Lakers from 1980 to... I, I love that you think that that's who yeah, I that's would know, who right? That's exactly to. who I would know. That's exactly... Byron, Byron Allen. Byron Allen, right. So I was he offered of the $14 billion, but historically, he also just tends to bid on stuff and not actually follow through when it comes to a lot of media. There, that has happened, Which yes. happens quite a bit. So I know that Paramount has their own special financial advisory board here, too, trying to make things work. I'm sure someone's going to acquire it. It's just right now things are really touch and go for all media companies. Yes. Yeah. You know, we had this big old strike where no one worked for months. People are being very choosy about what kind of media they have. You know, this is going to be the least green lit kind of pilot season we've had in ages. I know from an actor's perspective and from a writer's perspective, there aren't as many shows being made. People are being very, very deliberate with the movies they film and everything and what gets for moving forward. Because what have we seen so much of this year too? So many projects that they start them and then they complete them and then they dump them for the tax write-off or they completely get rid of or they try to sell it off. So people are being really choosy with the media they even make. So investing in an entire media company right now, mm. I'm sure for most companies, while that seems like a golden goose, especially with Paramount's catalog, it's still really, really dodgy because it could be a poor investment just because of the kind of year everybody's had. You got to get it at the right price. Exactly. Even successful companies, you know, right? We've talked about how Disney has had a decline, but for Disney, everyone still has to really kind of mind their P's and Q's and really look at those dollars. And plus what Paramount has is like the CBS, right? They have mm -hmm. CBS. Oh, yeah. There. They carry mm -hmm. a lot so of branches like with that, them. The broadcasting aspect of it, like uh, live TV, whatever. Um, they they could have gained something from because they they're like the only Warner Brothers is the only um, uh, company that hasn't gone into the bidding wars for football football like streaming football and all the other stuff. Oh, like, they have. They have. Yeah, yeah. They've I, just lost. I, yeah, yeah. I think they just. I mean, I think they went in with tepid bids just to kind of start testing water. Because remember, Warner Brothers is also now talking. They're talking about merging in, not merging in, but they we just talked about this on the show where them, Disney, ABC, all these things are going to create one big massive sports streaming yeah. thing. So they're they're looking at getting oh, into that. Oh, are they a part of that? Yeah. Are they a part Warner of that, Brothers that, is a that part football of that. thing? Yep. Okay, because I was about to say that would bring in new subscribers if you have something showing. Well, look what that, it did for uh, Peacock. Yeah. Peacock just had their by far most successful quarter, and it was all because of their NFL football right. that they put on. Mm. It's, it's kind of crazy. And... Warner Brothers maybe could have expanded that footprint again, but you got to get it at the right price. Because, you know, again, quoting Property Brothers, which we don't do a lot on this show, the right house for the wrong price is still the wrong house. And so it's going to be interesting. Because technically, if they got Paramount and they wanted to show some of their DC stuff on a live chat, they, they would be able to do that, right? If they bought Paramount and they had CBS, they could show that on Well, they could put it on any network they want oh, right okay. now, really. I mean, it, all they'd have to do is just license it out if they wanted to do that. But it would offer more options for them with a the bigger footprint. But we'll see what happens from here. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.